Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with PeptideCritic.com and today I want to talk to you about how to reconstitute a blend. Here we have a bottle of Glow from uh, Mile High Compounds. It is GHKCU, BPC157, and TB4 and it's pretty popular because you get to do three shots in one and you know, the less, uh, the less pokies you get, the better. At least that's what Randy thinks. So the cool thing about this, uh, this specific one that we got is it's from, my, it's from Mile High Compounds and we have a QR code on it. And that QR code I can scan and then I can pull up this chromate test, which I'm putting on screen now. And what that test shows us is that it's 64.65 milligrams GHKCU, 11.5 BPC157, and 10.74 uh, TB4. The purity is fantastic, 99.782, and there is no uh, issue with sterility. And the uh, endotoxin numbers are fantastic. They, that's very low. Um, you'll notice there's no heavy metal testing on this. Well, this is copper, so that's not something that's actually done on this uh, because it would test positive. So this is one of the exceptions. Uh, if there's GHK in it, don't worry about heavy metals. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we need to reconstitute this. Now, the bottle says 70 milligrams, but the test says 65. So we go off what the test says. And so I punched this in norpeptide calculator. And if we added 3 ml of backwater, we would get 1 milligram per 5 units. And what that would equate to is 200 micrograms uh, BPC-157 and 200 micrograms of TB4, which is within range of research dosing. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to cover uh, a second step that you can do later in the video. So first things first, uh, this is a sterile area. My hands are washed. Um, and uh, so is Randy. So we're going to clean this off. Okay. We've got our backwater over here, that with the alcohol, and we're going to pull 3 ml. Pull slow, otherwise you get a lot of bubbles, and it's kind of annoying. Okay, so that's 3 ml. And we're going to add it to the peptide. Now, a lot of people are like, don't shoot it directly at the peptide. Don't, it doesn't matter. If you can avoid it, yeah, sure, great. But um, aside from putting these in a, you know, paint can shaker, you're pretty much not going to do any damage to the peptide. Um, so I'm just letting it slowly go in. And that's that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to let this dissolve. And once that's dissolved, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about what we might do next. I'll give you a hint. It's diluted even more. So at five units, this is going to, for some people, not feel great. And that's the crazy part. Glow, glow's interesting because some people say, oh, it doesn't bother me at all. And some people say it's the worst thing ever. So, um, you know, it's, it's an interesting one. So we're going to show you a little trick once, we, once this is done dissolving. And he's taking over the arena. Backflips, explosions, cheese powered mayhem. Nothing can stop this rodent of ruin. Use code PeptideCritic20 at milehighcompounds.com to shred 20% off any order. Okay, everyone, we're back. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. This is fully dissolved, and I'm going to take the uh, label off. Uh, sorry there, Max. It's a beautiful label. Again, the QR code on there is clutch. So we can see how blue it actually is. So. This, like we said, we reconstituted it with, reconstituted it with 3 ml uh, so that it would be a five unit uh, dose. If GHK hurts, we've got other videos about this, you dilute it. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, we're pen guys here at Peptide Critic. Randy loves his pens. So we are going to move this into a pen inevitably. And that's why the next step, we're actually not gonna filter it. Uh, we like to filter at the last step of moving it into a cartridge. So. What I've done, while this was 
reconstituting is I have taken a, um, this is a sterile bottle. I pulled the cap off, sand, uh, sterilized the top, and then I added uh, backwater to it. And I added uh, six ml, no, seven ml of backwater. And uh, that would make it so we now do 15 units once it's in here. And so that's what we're gonna do. And this is the trick. This is, this is, this is what no one's telling you. A lot of like influencers in the space will be like, well, if it hurts, don't worry about it. Or if it hurts, pull it and then, you know, contaminate your backwater by uh, puncturing it and then pulling more water in. It's just a mess. This is, this is the simplest solution. So we are going to pull this and put it in there. Now, let's get it out. The trick is, I want it straight up. There, that's all of it. So now, we just add it into here. Again, this is just backwater. And so if you were just gonna leave this in here, I would actually put a little vacuum in there and call it good. Now, this is technically good to go. I would let it dissolve again for like another 20 minutes before I put this in your rat. But that's how we like to do a blend. If you've done this stuff before and it doesn't really bother you, pulling from the 3 ml is fine. But if you, uh, if, you're, if you're afraid or if you have done this and you're like, ah, oh, it's just the worst, uh, do the math again and uh, you can figure out uh, how to get uh, more backwater in there and that's what we always recommend. So I'm actually gonna let this dissolve and then I am going to uh, split it between two pen cartridges and filter it going in. So as always, if you have any questions, uh, do let us know and happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat at peptidecritic.com. Oh, and one more thing. Um, if you use Peptide Critic 20 on Mile High Compounds, you get 20% off. So, you know, enjoy.